What's going on guys? Dave here. Just returning from a trip to Southern Alaska. Never been before. Uh, I am from Atlanta, Georgia, where right now it is, it's only 10.45 a.m. and almost 90 degrees and extremely humid. So, uh, and this is also early part of July. So, we went to Ketchikan, Alaska, which is the first city north from, you know, from the uh, upper 48 states. And uh, it is about 25 to 30 degrees cooler there. It is a fishing town and also a, a, a ship town, I guess you could say, you know, for cruise ships to dock. Um, very small town, only between 10 and 12,000 population. Tiny little airport, uh, you know, no bridges, so you have to take you have to take a ferry everywhere you go. You know, if you're like if you're coming from the airport, you just want to go right across this little river to get to the mainland. <laughs> you got to take a ferry, and it's only like a three-minute ferry ride because they have so many large cruise ships coming through that same waterway. They can't build a bridge because uh, it's just not physically possible to make some giant bridge in such a short span. Anyway, so yeah, you take a ferry right off the bat, coming off the airport. A uh, cute town, you know, it's got, you'd think it would have amazing seafood restaurants because salmon and halibut and cod is fished there like crazy. I mean, we, we ate at uh, quite a few restaurants around there in, you know, in, the, in the days we stayed. And honestly, aside for some, from some pizza, <laughs> We had the best pizza at a Mexican restaurant, and there's also the best Chinese Chinese food at a restaurant named Diaz. <laughs> I mean, just some odd things there. But basically, that town is a ghost town when there are no cruise ships coming in. Uh, but you know, it's a very small town, kind of uh, kind of high poverty rate. You know, like more than 10% poverty rate there. And, uh, but beautiful weather, gorgeous, you know, in the low 70s, high 60s when it's sunny, uh, high 50s when it's cloudy. Uh, the water, you know, is just gorgeous. Um, you know, there's no sand, it's all rocky. Beautiful mountains around, beautiful walking trails, hiking trails. And, um, it was, it was a beautiful trip, for sure. The only problem is it's a very long flight from here. You know, from Atlanta, you got to fly to Seattle. Then it's an hour and a half flight from Seattle to Ketchikan. But beautiful scenery from the air as well, So because you get to see you know, Rocky Mountains, snow-capped mountains even in July. So, um, but if you're looking for somewhere to go to get away from the heat from wherever you live... I recommend it. You know, see if you can find something on VRBO or uh, Airbnb. You know, find a like a cottage for rent or something like that. Uh, there's some great fishing also if you want to stay in a in a location where they will actually take you on guided fishing, and uh, you can stay in a little apartment right there on the water. A lot of we saw a lot of people doing that. We stayed in a cottage actually. Um, about 15 minutes north of downtown Ketchikan. And, uh, you know, we were there for 4th of July, and it was really nice, you know. They got people with with uh, fireworks shows and stuff, you know, right around. And uh, did a lot of walking around downtown as well as, uh, you know, hiking trails and stuff like that. Anyway, just wanted to throw that guy at you, and uh, I'll throw up some videos and photos and things of the trip. And, uh, yeah, boy, hot already. Goodness. We just got back late last night, and it, as soon as we wake up, it's like 90 degrees, not even noon yet. It's like, ugh. So, yeah. That's the only thing I don't like about living in Atlanta, which I am a native of, is when it gets hot, it is freaking hot and not comfortable. And, anyway, we'll have some new videos up soon, and make sure you scroll through our channel. we got all kinds of cool videos relating to how to work on dirt bikes, street bikes, Harley Davidson's, Yamaha dirt bikes, stuff around the, uh, the yard, 
you know, fixing stuff around the house, Ford Mustangs, Ford Taurus X, Ford, uh, Chevy Traverse, Cadillac ATSV, Chevy trucks. You know, we got all kinds of, of interesting videos on how to fix things that you might uh, like. So scroll through the channel and uh, that's it. Quick message and just thought y'all uh, might want to know where to go when it's really hot where you live. Southern Alaska. And uh, that's all. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all later.